So Tim, a lot of fishers out there are unsure whether to use raw sonar or fish ID. What's your opinion on that? Well, I think with the hummingbird units, it's no disadvantage to put that fish ID on. Because with the hummingbird units, you'll keep that raw sonar return there, and it'll actually put a fish symbol above it. Not only that, it'll have different coloured fish symbols, or they'll be hollow and black on the black and white ones, to show which beam those fish are in. So just actually interpreting that raw sonar data just became a lot easier for someone who's just bought a sounder. So Sean, not only have we got a lot of different beam angles, we've also got a lot of different frequencies. What's the difference between the frequencies? Basically Tim, the higher the frequency, the more definition you're going to have on your screen. The downside of a high frequency is it doesn't have a lot of depth capability. So as we get into deeper water, we need to look for a lower frequency. So for guys out offshore, they might look at our 83 kilohertz transducer frequency. If they're going right off the shelf, they might have to upgrade to our 50 kilohertz. Okay, but for all the close in waters and everything like that, the 200 kilohertz and the 455 kilohertz are the way to go. Yeah, absolutely. That's what gives you the best detail in sort of 30, 40, up to 100 metres.